Two versus seven to try to stay in the upper bracket for the Blue Alliance. 80-51 drops their gain piece. Two Red Alliance robots do as well. A little bit of a collision on the red side between the Chargers and the Bearcats. And that may prevent 76-27 from engaging. Blue Alliance, no such trouble. And the autonomous period leads to a Blue Alliance lead, 32-21. 13-18, the captains of the number two seed have a cone dropped on the upper row. Bearcats, their first pick, do so as well. 29-07, Lion Robotics playing tenacious defense in the center of the field, holding two red robots at bay at once. IRS able to break free and get away. Now they spin their way back towards the red loading zone. For the Blue Alliance, it's 80-51, Tink Rex. They run into their own Alliance partner, 2907. Sometimes the Lions defense is just a little too good. But 8051 gets free and they join their captains, Tread, in the blue community to place cubes in scoring position. Red Alliance has taken the lead 60 to 46 as we go under a minute to play. Those two all important links contributing to that effort as 3786 and 2907, the Chargers and the Lions patrol the middle of the field. 37-86 trying to clear a path for Bearcats, colliding with IRS in the meantime. But they do get 76-27 free as the Bearcats are able to drop another cone on the upper row and put five points on the board. Now the Chargers have ridden up on Tink Rex. Everybody separates and it looks like no harm, no foul, but our referees will make a call if they are happy with the way things have gone. 50 seconds to play. Red Alliance expands their lead 75 to 49 now as 13 18 zips back towards the substation. 76 27 Bearcats in the community. 80 51 Tinkrex has a cone in their possession. Now they drop that on their way out of the loading zone and they're going to have to go back and try again as we hear the train whistle indicating that our end game period has begun. Captain's tread of the Blue Alliance, the first to mount the charge station. Lion Robotics right there with them. Now they back up and reset. Chargers up on the charge station, but they don't like their positioning. They've got 14 seconds though to figure it out. Here comes 37-86 and 76-27 up for red. Three blue robots trying to level off and they do. Two red robots steady. And we will tick away the final seconds on playoff match number three. We'll check our results and say who sees in the upper bracket in just a moment. Head referee Nathan Lose gives us the thumbs up on the final scores. Staying in the upper bracket, it's the Red Alliance. Our number two seed wins it 113 to 85. That means the number seven Alliance is going to drop down to the lower bracket Well, they will participate next in match number six. Red Alliance with a clean sweep of our first three matches so far. And now we'll find out whether it will be Alliance 3 or Alliance 6 facing off against Alliance 2 in match number 8. <laughs> 